I am Kenton of Tali Hershtik, and Taped with Rabbi Doug is next. Shalom and welcome to Taped with Rabbi Doug. Today is Yom Yerushalayim 5770, Jerusalem Day, the 37th anniversary of the reunification of the city of Jerusalem from the Six-Day War in Israel in 1967. And we are here in North Suburban Synagogue Beth El in Highland Park, Illinois, for their 40th annual Spring Music Festival entitled Al Shlosha Devarim this year on three things the world stands. Featuring, of course, Hazan Larry Galler, along with the Beth El Choir and the Beth El Youth Chorale, and special guest Leslie Newcorn, who is a cantorial soloist formerly of Kol Ami in Chicago. It's gonna be a beautiful night of English, Hebrew, and Yiddish music, and you will enjoy it, so stay with us here on Taped with Rabbi Doug. We're gonna see Rabbi Doug. We're gonna see Rabbi Doug. We're going to see Rabbi Doug on your TV tonight. But Daddy, I want to watch Monday Night Football. Forget about Monday Night Football. There's no other thing we're going to watch on Monday but Rabbi Doug. Yeah, Rabbi Doug on TV tonight. We're going to see Rabbi Doug. Oh, everybody talk about Doug. Um, Thank you. 
tune for the Bethel Youth Chorale here on Taped with Rabbi Doug. Come 
watching Rabbi Duck on cable TV. We're back once again, and I am here with Leslie Newcorn. She is the soloist who has been singing tonight with the Beth El Choir and Chazen Galler. And tell me about you a little bit. Um, you have been singing Jewish music for how long? How did you get into Jewish music, and when did you start singing it? I actually started singing uh, liturgical music in the early 90s, uh, probably about 1991 or so, um, when uh, we joined a, a, a synagogue, when um, our oldest daughter uh, was going into school, and we decided to join the synagogue, and I started singing in the choir there. Uh -huh. And what made you step out of choir music into soloist music, and chazanas, as we say? Well, as soon as I joined the choir and I started singing, I knew that liturgical music fit my voice, fit my whole being. And there's so much rich music out there. Um, and my talent was recognized in the synagogue. So I uh, just started singing more and more, both choral and solo, and I knew that it was a fit for me. Now you were singing as a soloist at Kol Ami at one point. Uh, any other synagogues that we'd be familiar with that you were singing at? Um, I started my um, my love for liturgical music at Temple Chai in oh, Long Grove, in Long Grove. Uh -huh. and that was the first temple choir that I belonged to, and I would serve as a substitute there. And um, I also, when I when I became more active, I was in uh, Michigan City, uh -huh. the synagogue there, but. Um, Colomy was, was my place for about eight years. About eight years. And how did you and uh, Cantor Galler, Cousin Galler, come, come apart and uh, meet up and uh, get together? We are both a member of the Chicago Milwaukee Association for Synagogue Musicians. And we've been members of it for many years now. We meet about once a month. Um, in the Chicago area, and we get people both from from um, Milwaukee, Madison, different parts of, of Wisconsin, and that's how I met Chazan. And um, actually, at Kol Ami in 2007, I invited him to perform in a concert that I did Wonderful. over at Kol Ami. Very nice. Well, it is a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to have you with us on Tape with Rabbi Doug. And stay with us now because you are about to hear Leslie Newcorn along with. Chazen Galler and the Bethel Choir at this 40th anniversary spring festival on Yom Yerushalayim, right here on Tape with Rabbi Doug. I am the only one. 
Welcome back. We're here on Taped with Rabbi Doug, and I'm here with Jonathan Norton. He is an old friend and a returning guest. Uh, you may recognize him because he's been with us before here at the North Suburban, North Suburban Synagogue Beth El Choir, uh, which he sings for not only for the concerts, but for the high holidays too, right? Also for the high holidays, yes. And of course, he is also a member who we've heard sing incredibly with Sheer Cago. And uh, Jonathan, how long have you been singing with, with the choir here? Um, this will be my ninth year coming up with, uh, with the Beth El Choir. Ninth year. Ninth year. I can't believe it's it's gone by very fast. So we never got a chance to talk deeply, just briefly, uh, in our in our Chicago interview uh, when you guys sang. Um, how did you get into Jewish music first? Um, well, I grew up in Hyde Park, and I got to. I was fortunate enough to get to hear Max Janowski at KM Isaiah Israel, and it's difficult to grow up at KM Isaiah Israel and not get involved in Jewish music because music was such an integral part of the service and uh, we would go to services every Friday night and I'd sit in the front row and I'd listen to Max Janowski and his amazing choir and I you know I just was enthralled with the music and and as time went on I mean I, I joined Chicago Children's Choir and I said you know I really just love Jewish music and you know and tried to find ways that I could get involved in in singing, and uh, I joined the volunteer choir at KMSA Israel, and one thing kind of led to the other, and, and I've been doing a lot of Jewish singing ever since. And now you're a professional singer. And now I'm a professional singer, so it's, it's, I guess I did something right. No, it's, it's very, very nice. Uh, what, do you, what do you enjoy more? Uh, is, your, is your career in a cappella music with Chicago uh, more rewarding than singing with accompaniment and choirs as a professional? Uh, wh what do you as a personal singer enjoy more doing? Um, I, you know, I also play piano a little bit, so I enjoy playing, you know, singing with accompaniment just because I enjoy the piano as an instrument. But singing a cappella is just something that, I mean, it's just a wonderful thing. Uh, sometimes, sometimes I kind of start, if we're singing a new song, I kind of start chuckling because I just like to hear the blend and it just makes, you know, it makes me happy to listen to it. So, you know, like, stop laughing, you know, but, uh... But no, I mean, I really love the sound, you know, and when all the voices come together in a cappella, and just, just, you know, it just sounds, it really sounds great. So, I mean, I've only been doing a cappella for about four years now, but it's very rewarding, and uh, and I really, I really love it. Well, we love listening to you. You are a very, very talented singer, and uh, it's always a pleasure to be with you. We look forward to not only. Uh, you know, being with the choir again and hearing you sing, but certainly uh, joining your band, uh, Chicago, and, and hearing you once again with them. And stay with us here on Taped with Rabbi Doug, Jonathan Norton, and the choir, and more at the concert, the 40th anniversary Spring Festival at North Suburban Synagogue Beth Ellen Highland Park.
out more about Tape with Rabbi Doug, go to www.tvrabbi.com. Remember, you can check out our website at www.tvrabbi.com for more information about our show. You can drop me an email at info at tvrabbi.com if you want to know more about our guests. And remember that we're on every week at this very same time. So hope to see you next time right here on Tape with Rabbi Doug. Shalom. This has been a Taped with Rabbi Doug production.